Hey guys, we are back here in this area and I'm just checking out this creeper hanging out in the shadows. And a lot of you had some suggestions of where to build and where to go and... and what kind of material is that over there? I'm kind of curious what this is right here. I guess I will... Oh boy! I was about to go over there, but we've got all kinds of friend Elena ding dongs to worry about now. Yeah, well, I guess we can go do it anyway. I'm feeling brave today. Let's see if we can get this guy hurt here a little bit. Okay, I meant to actually just weaken him. Let's see if I can draw the, the skeletons here out to play. Everyone's coming to play! Oh, uh, crap. Maybe I shouldn't get myself stuck. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> he kind of terror terrorized Bomb, the one who hit him, but the other two ended up attacking each other. Well, all said, that could have gone a whole lot worse. That's a zombie up there now. Hey, zombie. Probably shouldn't go charging, so is that cobblestone? Is that a dungeon? Holy crap, it's a dungeon! It's a skeleton dungeon. I have never seen a dungeon uh, above ground like that. Well, that's just crazy. I'm definitely going to have to take control of that later. That's going to be a great spot to get myself arrows, and I can also turn it into a experience grinder. Man, this area just is a gift that keeps on giving. That's funny, man. Ha! <laughs> so cool. Skeletons have done some really funny things for me the last couple of videos. Killing each other, um, setting off a creeper, which then meets their own demise, and finding a skeleton spawner just chilling out on a hillside. The only problem with that is that skeleton spawners are a bit of a pain to take over. But anyway, I've set up a... We'll call it a home base right here. Uh, this is not, of course, protected by any means. It's just an area for me to dump some stuff in the meantime. Speaking of stuff to dump, I've picked up a bunch of arrows in my travails and travels here. So we will uh, do that. And just over here is where I'm going to be doing my mine. I started. This, I set up my mine to uh, go down and turn into a big strip mine area. I uh, found this natural cave and I started doing a uh, pathway down and I got right around about level 32 and I've stopped digging because I still haven't found diamonds and if I'm going to find diamonds I want to do it on camera so you guys can see it and all that fun stuff. So this area here is going to be a big old garden. I'm going to plant massive amount of like reeds and other things around here and speaking of reeds, since I'm not going to be doing anything just yet with uh, the garden area, I should just plant a bunch of reeds right now to get a bunch more. Because making bookshelves is important if you want to do uh, enchantments. Of course, so is actually getting obsidian. For that, I need diamond. So we're getting a little ahead of ourselves. But we may as well put what we have to work and let it grow in the meantime. We can triple our investment. At, or, well, I guess it's tripling of the investment technically. And that'll be all well and good. And I can plant more as I go. But my plan is I'm going to level this hill right here. Uh, to about, I don't know, this area-ish. And I'm going to set up a nice house right around here, which has the mountains nearby. And I'll probably, and I'll have the garden that's going to be over there and over here. This whole little valley be the garden. And right over there in those mountains, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the mountains just yet. I'm going to set up a huge sheep pen as well, because there's so many sheep around here. From what I understand of the new sheep rules, they eat grass to regrow their wool. So you can reharvest from uh, a sheep that you've died, and I've read that they've also retained their their dyed sheep color. So if I get one of each color, I theoretically then I have all the sheep I'll ever need. I don't need to keep any extras, and I can uh, just do it that way. So uh, and they also apparently can breed, and they'll just give you colors based on the parents. But why would I need to do that? You only need a certain amount of sheep. They don't give you anything else but wool. But that's pretty cool. They've made. Uh, Building with wool no longer an extremely hard and laborious process, once you get the setup in, of course. But first things first, I'm going to do a little bit of work here that needs to be done and uh, get this hill level down. And uh, then you'll probably join me as I set up my first little house in this area. Note that it, it yeah, this won't be my main house per se, I may end up just knocking it down later and building something else. 
So it's just going to be more or less a little shack for me to live in in the meantime. But it'll be a nice shack. I'm not just going to build like a square. We'll do something fun with it. Anyway. Well, guys, here's what I've managed to get done with a little bit of work. We've now got a full set of reeds over there. I'm not really changing anything over there. I'm stealing a bit of sand. There's probably enemies floating around because it just turned daytime. And over here, oh my god, we got a pen of sheep. And then here, wait, did I just see a, an enderman? Endermen are important. If we see Endermen, I have to kill them. I do see one. Oh, let's go get him. Oh, God. Of course, it's turning daytime, so he's probably going to go warp into a cave before I can get to him. You just barely see him in the distance, and he's gone. Stupid jerk. Probably a bunch of those guys. Anyway, I have created the area. Now, this, anywhere that I've got the cobble, that's kind of the support, if you will, for where I'm going to set up my first house in this area, but it's just going to be like a wide-ranging compound of area. As you see, I've already got my sheep set up within their little zone. And they're already eating the grass, and I've been breeding the ones I've got in there. And I'm going to start dyeing them very soon. In fact, I can even dye some uh, right now, if I really want to. And in here, hey guys, this is what's going to happen to you. See what's in my hand? That's what's going to happen to you. I've only got the two of them so far. So i got to wait for them to grow up before I can start breeding them. And I'll have my feathers on hand, all good to go along with some chicken. And I'm probably going to set up a cow uh, pasture right over here once I uh, get around to it, but I've been more concerned with getting the sheep set up. So let's uh, actually go take a look at the dyeing implements I've got. We'll see how many different colors of sheep I can make. See how many I can remember how to make offhand. It's been a while since I've, uh, I've done this, so we're gonna need to take this, 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 and this. Alright, let's go get ourselves in the midst of our sheep. At least we'll be more or less safe inside and we won't get creeper bombed. Hey guys, how's it going? Going good? Do you, do they still eat the grass, even when they haven't been uh, having any sort of deals going on. Let's take some of those. Let's take some of uh, these. Again, I don't remember what ones I'm going to need. Those ones you just make, I believe, right out of those. And ink sacks make right out of those, right? Yeah. And I've got... Did I take the... No, I didn't take the bones. I also need bone meal. So... Silly me. Let's go. Get running. Out on the highway. Pocket full of shells, etc. Well, we don't need that many. We'll take this. Really don't need that many because we get three bone meal per uh, per bone. And bone meal is pretty important to the whole dying process, but I doubt I'm going to need 27 pieces of it. Alright. But let's all turn it into, into that stuff anyway. So first things first. We currently have a red. We have a yellow. Now let's make ourselves... An orange, as they say. Perfect. Get these guys out of the way. Stupid jerks. Can't believe I just like them all that much. Good. Let's do that. Now we get ourselves a pink. Can we do one with yellow in uh, this one? No. Apparently light yellow doesn't exist in this universe. And we got one of those. And now we'll have the light blue, which is nice. Uh, one thing I do need to find, for instance, is some cactus, because that's two dyes right there, a dark green and a, and a lime green. Uh, what else do we need to get here? Uh, red can mix with purple. Oh, we can make so many dyes. Oh, so many dyes. And what about you? No, really? I can't make something out of blue and yellow. I'm surprised by this. Color me surprised, I suppose. Or the dyes. Color the dyes surprised. Ha! <laughs> Alright, so black is, is an ink sack of uh, variety. We do that, we get a gray dye. Cool. And I suppose I should actually use some of these dyes. So let's use some of these dyes. Uh, we'll dye you light gray. Perfect. Now we'll take this light gray dye and make ourselves, sorry, a gray dye, make ourselves a light gray dye. And you can be light gray. So now we've got all the shades of gray, black and white, which is nice. Uh, I don't have any brown yet. I'm going to have to find either a cocoa beans in a, in a treasure chest, in a dungeon. And I don't know where I can find a dungeon, do you guys? <laughs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> well, we'll figure it all out. And uh, let's see here. Would you just stand still? You can be poiple. We all know how you guys like to be poiple. And we make ourselves the the always awesome blue sheep. And how about a rose red uh, sheepy? There we go. Now for a yellow one. 
Gonna get, just gonna, just gonna make the so many colors of the rainbow here that we can. Cool. We got our light blue. Nice. Did we do a pink yet? I don't think we did a pink yet, right? No, we didn't do pink. Why, God? What am I thinking? Of course we haven't done pink yet. Come here, Pinky. All right. So, does that leave any colors we've not done? We we haven't done orange yet. But other than that, I think that takes care of what I can make at the moment. I'm sure there's a color or five I'm missing. But that's okay. Actually, first things first, I'm going to breed this guy. If I can get to the other white one. Uh, there we go. Because the, they, if you breed two of the same color, they'll always produce a offspring of the same color. So by doing that, I've gained that. Not that it matters. I mean, I can just dye them afterwards. I think I'm, I feel like I'm really getting raped here. <laughs> Oh, but I died the baby. I didn't even know you could die the babies. <laughs> That's funny. So really, I just need to breed later, the sheep later, and I can just die them as I need to. Well, that's pretty damn amusing. So I got a few, I also got a few black sheep in here I can still die as well. So, by doing this, I now have the start of a very healthy decorating set of sheep. Awesome. I still, like I said, need to find a desert to get some cactus, but other than that, uh... That should do me for now. I know there's a few colors I'm forgetting about right now, but I'll have to go look those up in the me in the meantime, and I'll have to figure it out from there. And I guess next time, I'm probably going to start working on building that. Uh, I've got a f little bit of, of uh, cobble built up now. I'll probably... I'm thinking I'm going to build with some stone bricks for this particular uh, setup. I'm also thinking I'm going to do some brick pathways, so that means I'll probably go gather some clay at some point. But I think to finish off today, well, first things first, actually, if I'm going to have all this dye, I may as well make myself a brand new uh, treasure box to hold it all, right? Sounds reasonable to me. I don't know about you guys. It sounds damn reasonable to me. You, Mr. Treasure Box, can go right there. And we're just going to dump all these dyes and all the stuff to make dyes into a uh, box and worry about it later. But to finish off, I think I'm going to try to get into that uh, skeleton dungeon and see what I can find. I already see there's a few zombies up here that could complicate them. Holy God! It's a zombie convention, but so far the pathway looks pretty clean. Maybe I can make it in without attracting too much attention? See, this is why this is so dangerous, because there's just so many foes potentially showing up in here. Alright, just... No! Damn it! Not a good start. Okay. Right. That's okay. There's only one skeleton in here. I can live with that. I can also live with him deciding that he doesn't want to shoot me. Alright. I almost don't want to light this area up in here, though, because if I want to hunt uh, Endermen 24 hours a day, this is a great place to do it. But I should really stop screwing around with the enemy. Hey. Hey. No. Bad. Get over here. You're gonna die. Just accept the fact you're gonna die. Listen. I've accepted the fact that I have to kill you. I just realized that I broke my sword. I think I've got a spare. I hope I got a spare. Oh, I got a spare. Thank the goodness. Alright. What's over on this side? More darkness. Cool. Let's see what we got. Uh, nothing too special there, except we can go ride a uh, pig at some point. So I guess that's something. That is something, as they say. Hey, let's look at the little skeleton. He's skeleton. What's in here? Wow. This place... Hey! I was going to say, that better be from the outside. I don't want anyone just spawning randomly. Uh, could I maybe go forward and take care of this problem? Except that I think I know the problem. They might be able to spawn outside the room. The generator, generator is still able to spit them out, so... Just to be safe, we better light up just on the outside of the room. There. So let's go back to raiding all the lovely, lovely stuff. So I was hoping to get some brown dye from these chests, but unfortunately, that is a no-go. But we do have ourselves a nice little skeleton uh, spawner to play with and maybe make ourselves a... Uh... Oh, I don't think so. Seriously? No. Bad. All kinds of goodies to be had here. 
got to be careful now. The spider's coming up. But anyway, I will do something with that spawner at some point. But for now, I'm just getting out of here because there's enough enemies in there to scare me. Even my cool-headedness when it comes to battle. Because I've covered myself in glory so well to this point. How are you the only thing falling me out of there? The spider's that dumb. Oh, wait. Never mind. I shouldn't badmouth spiders, should I? They're, they, they are sure to be faster, don't they? Come on. I ran out of backing up. Oh, it's daytime, so you don't want to fight, eh? Well, too bad. You started it. I'm going to finish it. So anyway, I'll figure out how I'm going to do the whole... Uh, um, harvesting thing. I've never made one before, but it could be a lot of fun. Anyway, seeing our multicolored uh, Joseph Technicolor uh, jacket fun time here, I think it's a good time to leave it off. So join us next time. Maybe we'll find ourselves a brown sheep. Maybe we'll find ourselves some cocoa beans. Who knows? All I do I have cocoa beans back at the base. Regardless, we need to get ourselves all the sheep. So we're gonna look to finish up our sheep collection, and we'll start building away on that beautiful old building that I've laid the foundation for. See you guys next time.